When I lived up north, I used to love to drive on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. One of the joys of driving on the Pennsylvania Turnpike are the tunnels. And if I remember right, I remember at least three tunnels that we would go through. And these tunnels could be quite long. You'd go in into one of the tunnels and you would know when the end is coming. And then all of a sudden you'd see light. You'd see light against the walls and then eventually you would see the actual light at the end of the tunnel. The light at the end of a tunnel is a radiant light that signals the end of darkness is near. So if events in your own life leave you feeling as if you're in the dark, in a tunnel, and it is endless, and you don't know when and if it will end, you know to look towards the light. And you know that there will always be a light shining for you, the light of the Christ. The Christ shines forth as a light of wisdom. Even before you can see it with your physical eyes, you know that it's coming. And you also know it is so brilliant and so bright that it cannot be extinguished. The Christ is your divine connection with God and with God's love for you. An inner knowing that assures you that God is always with you. God is always leading you into the light of a brand new day, a brand new positive experience. When you trust God and when you rely upon the inner Christ for inspiration and guidance, you know that the darkness of doubt and the darkness of confusion cannot last long. In the light of the Christ, you will always find your way. Do you remember what it says in 1 John 1 verse 5? It says, God is light, and in God there is no darkness at all. Well, I pray that you are so in God right now that there is no darkness at all in you. I pray that it's not even in the recesses of your human mind. And I pray it's not in your vision. That you can see with the vision of the Christ to a better way, a better tomorrow, a happier place. And you walk towards it, not in doubt, not in fear, but in faith.